Alan, I had assumed that after Microsoft took the mobile phone business, what was left of Nokia would just be a lot of cash, in fact, six and a half billion euros of cash, and some patents, and not much else. But you're going to tell me something different. Yes. There is a still a very important networks business there. It's nearly 90% of revenues now, and it cannot be ignored. And frankly, I think analysts have been a bit concerned that Nokia might not be able to keep up you know, revenues in this division. But in fact, today's second quarter results were very good. Um, they beat expectations, uh, not all, only on the group, but on the networks as well. Overall, operating margins were about at least 100 basis points better than expected at 11%. OK, but tell me a bit about, well, why revenue growth might be sustainable, because networks, as I understood, is, is a tough business. You're competing against the Alcatels, the nuisance, the, you know, the Huawei's of this world. You know, what does Nokia bring to that business, and you know, is it sustainable? Yeah. Uh, they've always had good technology. Um, it's, it's competitive. Uh, they think, they're telling us, they have a new CEO, um, Rajiv Suri, and he is saying that there is, um, he's not stating it outright, but the analysts believe there are some wins, big wins for them on the client side with some major uh, operators like Vodafone and Sprint. He's saying that although uh, revenues in networks were down year on year in this past quarter, 8%, mm. that the second half will be up. And, and that, I think, has got people excited. OK, I mean, it's still got a lot of cash on its balance sheet. So my last question is, how do we value Nokia then? Ooh. Well, let's put it this way. That number you just quoted, at the end of the second quarter, 6.5 billion, that works out to 1.75 euros per share. Before today, it was trading at about 5.7. So it's kind of hard to value it purely on that basis because you know that there is a large amount of cash that will be coming back to shareholders. Maybe not all of it, obviously, but a chunk of it. So everyone knows that. What's great to see is that on average, free cash flow for a consensus for the next two years per year is a billion euros per year. They have the wherewithal. They have already cash on balance sheet, but free cash flow as well. It's going to be OK, it looks like, for Nokia. And the shares are they're up sharply today, partly for that reason, 7%. Okay, well, Nokia may surprise us yet. Thank you, Alan.